Hello everyone and welcome to Split Second, Streets of New Capena edition, where we try to showcase some of new commanders from this set. This week the vid is piloting his take on Carmela Glamour Thief, with a list to generate infinite mana comboing with Undying Evil. Ball picked up Evelyn the Covetous, and brewed a deck around Clauson, Curio and Dockside Loops to exile his opponent's decks. Elder gave up Evelyn to build Falco Spara Pact Weaver, a deck built around devoted druid loops to attempt to draw the whole deck with Sensei's top and win from there. Finally, Rodrigo built a Rafine Skimming Seer deck, avoiding stacks per request, and tried to build her around Sage of Hours and Reanimation packages. David is going first and Mulligan once, finding a Luxury Suite and Polluted Delta for lands, with an Arcane Signet and Ragavan for ramp, Dark Confident for extra card draw, Opposition Agent for some stacks, and maybe still a Tutor and Snap for interaction. Bal also mulgan once and found quite a nice hand as well, single mana confluence for lands but paired with a mana crypt that can allow to cast Rhythmic Study on turn 1 and trying to find fuel from there, gamble the Monarch Tutor and transmute Artifact to find his combo pieces and delay for interaction. Elder is on a trend of second 7s, finding a command tower and Urza Saga that can find him since his top. Mox Opal is lacking other artifacts so far, but he also has Avacyn's Pilgrim for ramp, Noxious Revival for interaction or recursion, Fossil Storm for protection or interaction, and Smuggler Share is on its trial run. Last but not least, Rodrigo kept his first 7, with a Polluted Delta, a Darker Waste, an Ottawara Soaring City for lands, Imperial Seal and Demonic Tutor to pivot his game plan, perhaps finding some fast mana for that Rhystic study, and Stormscape Familiar for value, reducing his spell's costs. Ready for the match? David starts the game with a Polluted Delta, cracking it for a Volcanic Island, and casts a Ragavan, suddenly nullifying Rodrigo's plans for a turn 1 Imperial Seal. Ball top decks and plays a City of Brass, and then casts his Mana Crypt into Rhystic Study turn 1, for some groans from the table. Elder plays a Command Tower and casts his Avacyn's Pilgrim, triggering Rhystic Study and not paying, not wanting to be set behind on mana. Rodrigo plays a Polluted Delta and cracks it for an Underground Sea, passing the turn afterwards. David draws, plays a Luxury Seed and attacks Ball right away with Ragavan, triggering them for a treasure and exiling a Culling the Weak. David then cracks the treasure for a Dark Confident, triggering and paying for the Rhystic, ending his turn. Ball rolls and takes 3 from the Crypt. He then plays a Mana Confluence and casts a Demonic Tutor, searching for a Jewel Lotus, which he proceeds to cast right away, and with a floating mana he casts his commander, Evelyn the Covetous, trying to hit some gas from his opponents. Sadly to him, he hits 3 lands and Concordant Crossroads from Elder, which is a helpful combo piece. Elder plays his Urza Saga, entering and gaining its first ability. He then casts a new card from this set, Smuggler Share, which he hopes to come of some good value. Rhystic triggers and he can't pay. Rodrigo draws a good one. He plays on a Darker Waste and casts the top deck card, a Drenith Magistrate, triggering Rhystic and he can't pay. It didn't prevent Ball from casting his commander, but at least it prevents him from casting stuff exiled with Evelyn, as well as the Vid's Ragavan. We're back to the Vid, Dark Confident triggers and he reveals a Lindel's Vault, taking 2 damage. Elder is the only one without blockers, so the Vid attacks him, creating a treasure and exiling a Wild Growth. In his second main phase, he plays a Gemstone Caverns and passes. Ball rolls and takes another 3 from his crypt. That's what you pay for a turn 1 Rhystic. He casts a Mox Opal and follows it with a Lotus Petal. He still casts a Mystic Remora for extra draw power. He then plays his Wooded Foothills from Exile as that he can do, and passes the turn. Elder draws and his Urza Saga gains its second ability. He plays a tapped Allowed Fountain and casts an Elvish Mystic, triggering and paying for the Rhystic, ending his turn afterwards. Rodrigo is not finding lands, so he's forced to play his Ottawara Soaring City, so he can cast his commander, Rafin, Skimming Seer, and start drawing fuel. Rhystic triggers and he can't pay. He then goes to combat and attacks Elder with Drenith, fearing David could flash in an Oppo to try to double block it. Rufin triggers and he targets Drenith to connive, drawing one card and discarding his Imperial Seal. Elder takes the damage and Rodrigo ends his turn. On his end step, however, Smuggler Share triggers and Elder draws a card. Still in the end step, David fires his Lindel's Vault, triggering Remora and Rhystic, and he can only pay for the Rhystic, so in response, Ball cracks his fetch now to find a tapped Steam Vents. He then draws and lets it resolve. David digs deep for an Undying Evil, in hopes to combo off with infinite mana for instants and sorceries, eventually settling for some interaction and having paid 5 life total. He proceeds to his turn, saying he's not going for a win, just as Dark Confident triggers, revealing a Pact of Negation, losing no life. The suspense rises. David plays an untapped Sim Vents and casts an Arcane Signet, preemptively paying for the Rhystic, but unable to pay for the Remora. He passes, hoping to send back a little more. Ball untaps and pays for his Remora to stay. He rolls and finally wins the Crypt roll. 
He draws a dark side and could attempt to win, but Pact of Negation from David as well as 3 open mana makes him ponder deeply on his options. He plays David's Arid Mesa and cracks it for a Volcanic Island. He then casts a Talisman of Indulgence and follows that with a Voldaren Epicure, hoping to mess up David's Limdol's Vault plans, as well as reveal further information from his next revealed card from the Confident. His opponents lose one life and he creates a blood token, and Evelyn also triggers examine the top card from each player's library. In his end step, Smuggler Share triggers and Elder creates a treasure. He gets to his turn, draws, and his Urza Saga reaches its final chapter, and he taps it for mana in response, before searching for his Senses Divining Top to play, so he now just needs to find Devoted Druid and a way to deal with Drenith. He plays a Tropical Island and uses the floating mana to activate the top, before passing the turn. Rodrigo draws and proceeds to combat, attacking David with Rafin and Drenith towards Elder, targeting Rafin with his triggered ability, drawing 2 and discarding 2 non lands, putting 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on them. In his second main phase, he plays a Gemstone Caverns and passes, holding some interaction up. In his end step, Smuggler Share triggers and Elder also draws a card. David untaps and Dark Confident triggers, revealing a Deflecting Swat for even more interaction. He has snapped to deal with Drenith, but as he plays after Rodrigo, he can only go for it if it means winning, otherwise it would unlock Ball's Cyclonic Rift and Elder's Commanders as well. This way, he just attacks Rodrigo with Ragavan, connecting and creating a treasure, while exiling a Necromancy. He goes to his second main phase and casts a Phyrexian Altar, triggering Ristic and Remora, and unable to pay for the fish but paying for the Ristic, ending his turn. Ball taps and rolls for the Crypt, being slapped once again. He then lets the fish go and draws. He plays a Command Tower and casts a Mox Diamond, discarding an Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth. He then casts a Wish Claw Talisman and players slowly pass priority. This hints at some interaction other than the Vids, and Ball casts a Transmute Artifact, sacrificing Mana Crypt. Note that this spell is worded differently from Reshape, and Ball should only sacrifice an artifact if the spell resolves. Elder is the first one to respond and he casts a Flusterstorm, triggering Ristic and paying for it. Ball counts his mana and lets it get countered. This would affect his future turns available mana as well as crypt rolls, but it doesn't change much of the outcome of the game. He then does cast his Dockside, hoping to force the V to crack his treasures, since the table already knows what he's going for. It resolves and triggers, and Elder cracks his treasures to activate the top and rearrange the top 3 cards just before activating it to draw a card. The V cracks 2 treasures for the Emir mana. And he does have Oppo at hand, however, as Ball attempts to proceed steps in order for the V to lose his mana and Ball being able to activate the Wish Claw, the V is forced to cast his Snap on his Ragavan, triggering Ristic and not paying. This way, he would still have 3 open lands to cast Opposition Agent when Ball would go for the Wish Claw. However, in response, Ball does activate the Wish Claw Talisman, which puts the V in a tough spot. He either lets Ball tutor for something or he sacrifices his two creatures to the altar to cast his opposition agent, which he ends up doing, hoping to find a tutor from him and win in his next turn. He sacrifices the creatures for mana and casts the agent, triggering Ristic and unable to pay. Ball lets it resolve and David controls Ball while searching, able to look at his hand and searching for a diabolic intent. Then, Ball gives Rodrigo control over the Wish Claw, since Elder is still fairly open on mana to maybe deal with the agent in the end step. Ball passes, and on his end step, Smuggler Share triggers and Elder draws a card. Elder untaps, draws, and casts his Sensei's top, triggering Ristic and paying for it, ending his turn with 7 cards in hand. In his end step, though, Rodrigo fires his Notion Thief, triggering Ristic and unable to pay. Rodrigo then gets to his turn and jumps to combat, attacking David with Drenith and Rafin and Notion Thief towards Elder. Rafin triggers, and Rodrigo targets Rafin, conniving 3, drawing 3, and discarding 3. Two of them are non lands, so Rafin hits for 5 damage. In the second main phase, he plays a Sea of Clouds and follows it with a Reanimate on a Stormscape Familiar, hoping to find ways to circumvent his lack of ramp. He ponders for a moment and casts a Gilded Drake, entering and targeting David's opposition agent, which, after some table talk, David sacrifices to the Phyrexian Altar for black mana, which ends up making Rodrigo's choices to activate Witch Claw much harder, since it would then be passed to someone able to use it. Gilded Drake's exchange fizzles and Rodrigo passes, triggering Smuggler's share in his end step, and since it is a mandatory draw, Rodrigo's Notion Thief would steal it. At this moment, there is a big table talk where everyone seems to have a single piece of interaction, and a big fight war could be enough for Dominus to fall one by one. Regardless, Elder casts his Baby Rift on the Thief, as he needs to dig deeper than his three cards on top. However, Rodrigo feels David can't win right through, and he plans to heal with his Thief, so he responds with a Dovin's Veto, saving the Notion Thief and stealing Elder's draw. David gets to his turn, but only for a few moments, as he passes right away, now hoping to find another piece of removal for Drenith. Ball draws and plays a Gemstone Caverns, and casts Dothy Voidwalker, 
unknowingly taxing David's plans. He then casts a Dark Confident, hoping to bypass Notion Thief and passes. Not before Elder activating Sensei Stop to see what he has coming ahead. He draws for the turn and casts a Mana Crypt, following that with a Mox Opal he had laying in his hand for some time now, and passes fully untapped. Rodrigo draws and starts his turn with a Demonic Tutor. Still having Wish Claw Talisman available, Ball responds with a delay, and David's Deflecting Sword would make it quite hard for Rodrigo to fight over it, so his master plan is delayed for now. Rodrigo now counts his possible damage, and killing David in one shot is not an option yet, so he attacks Ball with his two flyers and David with the earthly creatures. Rafin triggers and he targets the familiar. He draws four and is now pretty much conflicted in discarding non-land cards to pump his bird, but those would be accessible to Ball through Dothi whenever one of the three players hating on Drenith are able to erase him from existence. This way he discards two lands and two non-lands which are not great. Damage connects and he proceeds to his second main phase, playing a Caves of Coilus and casting a Malevolent Hermit, for more interaction. In his end step, Smuggler Share triggers and Rodrigo draws a card due to Notion Thief. Once again, David simply draws and passes, hoping to last a little while longer. In his end step, Ball casts a Vampiric Tutor, however, Rodrigo just objected a Fierce Guardianship last turn, and we're in for a long game. Ball gets to his turn and Dark Confident triggers, revealing a luxury suite. He then plays the Vid's Underground River, hoping to send back enough cards to perhaps cast his Gamble. He then casts a Sol Ring and attacks Rodrigo for 7 damage, and passes the turn. In his end step, Elder activates since he stop reordering the cards before going to his turn. He rolls for the Crypt and takes no damage. With plenty of juice in hand, Elder passes, hoping to go for it after the incoming storm is over. On his end step though, Rodrigo casts a Vampiric Tutor, however, the vid responds with a Force of Negation, pitching a Trophy Mage, in order to have mana to bypass any Druid activation. He gets to his turn and proceeds to combat right away. He sends lethal damage towards the vid, and the familiar towards Ball, triggering Rifin and targeting the Notion Thief. He connives 5, and to the table's surprise, he discards 3 lands and 2 counters, as he found what he wanted to tutor with his Vampiric Tutor last turn. In his second main phase, he activates the Wish Claw Talisman, searching for his Swan Song to his hand, and passing the Talisman to Elder. Rodrigo goes ahead, casting the other card in hand, a Time Twister. Packed with interaction, Rodrigo wasn't foretelling Ball's response, a channeled Ottawa Soaring City on the Notion Thief, responding to the Twister's Rhystic Study trigger, which Rodrigo doesn't pay, as he still hopes to protect it. In response, however, Elder casts a Force of Will, pitching an Avon Courier, triggering Rhystic and paying for it. However, Rodrigo responds with a Swan Song, triggering Rhystic and not paying. Elder activates his Sensei Stop, but finds no answers, so he lets the Swan Song resolve and still responds with a Noxious Revival, targeting his Flusterstorm to be put on top of his library, paying 2 life, and also paying for the Rhystic Trigger. He then activates his Stop to draw the Fluster and cast it, which eventually bypasses Rodrigo's last resource of protection, his Malevolent Hermit, triggering and paying for the Rhystic. This way, Rodrigo passes with only Notion Thief in hand, and Smuggler Share triggers and Elder draws a card. David is free to have his dinner now, and Ball untaps for his turn. Confidant triggers, and he reveals a Lightning Bolt, which to his dismay is not enough to kill Rodrigo's 4 toughness Dranith. Ball plays Rodrigo's Vault of Champions and then does some math on all his mana options. He starts with an Imperial Recruiter, entering and triggering to search for a Lord Drakis to his hand. He then casts the Lightning Bolt on Dranith Magistrate, and proceeds to mutate Lord Drakis on his Dockside Extortionist, returning Lightning Bolt back to his hand, which he casts once again on the Dranith Magistrate. After that, he does go for the overloaded Cyclonic Rift, exiled through Evelyn back in the infancy of this game. Elder floats white with his Opal, and Rodrigo activates his Hermit Druid in response, making Baal pay 3 more for his Cyclonic Rift. To Rodrigo's sadness, Ball had just objected a Dark Ritual, which he casts, effectively bypassing the tax and clearing everyone else's board. Ball was fearing Elder could win in his next turn, as he had the most cards these past turns. He does attack Rodrigo for 7, since Notion Thief is about to come in the turn cycle, as Ball now ends his turn. In the end step, though, as Elder plans to dump his hand, he casts a Force of Vigor, targeting Rhystic Study and Sol Ring, triggering Rhystic and paying for it. Ball ponders on protecting it with the Dothi, but he has no other protection for his next turn, so he lets it go. Elder then starts his turn and casts a Mana Crypt, following it with his Senses Divining Top. He then casts Mox Opal with Metalcraft, followed by his commander, Falco, which enters with a Shield Counter, and still representing Bosejo Mana. He looks at the top card and ends his turn, only needing to find a Devoted Druid now. Rodrigo starts his turn with his Stormscape Familiar, reducing the cost of his next spells, and passes the turn. Balan taps and reveals a Flutter Strand to his Dark Confidant. 
He finally drew a creature, so he goes for it, casting the Wishclaw Talisman and activating it, searching for the Cloudstone Curio and giving the Wishclaw to Elder. He plays an Ancient Tomb and casts the Cloudstone. It resolves, so he now casts the Drawn Opposition Agent, also resolving and triggering the Curio to return the Lord Extortionist to his hand. He then casts Dockside Extortionist and in response Elder activates his top to look deeper into his library, and he finds nothing. So Rodrigo tells him to attempt to draw with his top, since he has something up his sleeve. Elder activates the top to draw a card, and Rodrigo responds with his Notion Thief. It resolves, and still in response, he casts a Mystical Tutor and searches for a mental misstep. Since Bal is only able to create three treasures, the misstep would hit Voldaren Epicure. Dockside now enters and creates three treasures, thanks to the Wish Claw. Cluston Curio also triggers, and Bal returns Voldaren Epicure to his hand, which he now casts and in response, Rodrigo casts his mental misstep, but Bal had saved his Dothy for this turn, and cracks it, casting Rodrigo's Mana Drain for free. Voldarin Epicure enters, and without further responses, he is able to demonstrate a loop where he bounces Dockside Exorcist and recasts it, generating three treasures, which are exactly enough to bounce the Epicure and recast it, entering and returning Dockside over and over. Each time Voldaren Epicure enters play, not only he triggers to ping his opponents and creating a blood token, but Evelyn also triggers, exiling everyone's top card from their libraries with a collection counter with it. This line has their opponents lose to life loss before they even get to exile their whole libraries. GG. Thank you for joining us for today's match, everyone. This game was heavily affected by Draneth Magistrate, and players having commander centric strats were heavily punished by it. There was removal at their disposal, but other major threats saw play meanwhile. Wishclaw Talisman was a major piece being passed around the table, but the MVP goes undoubtedly to the turn 1 Rhystic Study, which kept Ball's hand filled most of the match. We'd like to start the credits by thanking our current patrons, and especially Izanagi, TJ Rap, Mike Burr, Ajimu, Drunken Housecat, V, RJ, Hitachil, Pina, Ricardo, Dragonsake, Katarina, Michael Bowen, Super Scaldi, Dog, Wyatt, Wicked and Xenon, our stack breakers. If you want to support us, you can do so by liking this video, subscribing or by becoming a patron yourself. If you want to go through other recommender adventures, click one of the videos on the right. If you want to talk with us about our games or other EDH related matters, join us on Discord. Join us again next week for a new set of commanders and more decisive plays. See you all then.